the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah. What, what do you, how do you feel about edibles? I love them. <coughs> to sleep on. Mm-hmm. I love them. The, uh, the chocolate I got you is what uh, my wife and I both use. Oh, yeah. We'll wake up in the middle of the night instead of, you know, fussing and fighting or, you know, thinking about it. We just go and get a little little chocolate thing. It's delicious chocolate, too. It's defonce chocolate, and it's it's the best thing. And you just sleep. Not only I slept last night, but I had a couple of epiph- epiphanies yeah. that just blew my mind. Like what? How art is going to save the world. Art is going to save the world. Yeah. How's that? Well, you look at history, mm-hmm. you know, like the pyramids. That was art. That was an art piece. And what happens when you, when you have big, huge art pieces like that, you create employment. And it's not war. So you're not fighting. You're creating. And so the people that, that uh, care for the animals, the people that have to feed the, the, the mass of people that have to work on getting those rocks, mm-hmm. carving those rocks, everything else, it creates employment. And it, and it also creates tourism. And so you, 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 when you have a piece of art, everybody wants to come and look at it. And so that's what we need in the world today, you see. And, and we not only need art, but we need functional art because that's what uh, the pyramids were. They were functional. And a lot of people think it was the, uh, the astronauts. You, you know, mean the, aliens? The aliens, yeah. which, which could very well be. You really think so? Oh, sure, for sure, for sure. Why do you think that? Well, because there's nothing new in the universe, you know. Uh, we've had space flights. We've had all that stuff forever. You know? But you have Chong's Choice cooler pipe. Yeah, that, that genius that's, pipe. That's new in the universe. That's that's no. It's it's probably rehashed. Probably <laughs> somewhere in the I like world. That. Rehashed. Or somewhere in the yeah. Right. So so no somewhere some, in the universe. Oh, oh, you talk about uh, you want to talk about pot? The Chinese, Indians, sure. All all religion. What, what makes you think all that religion. aliens built the pyramids though? Well, I'm, I'm saying they, they could have been. Really? I, I think aliens are just humans, you know, that, because if they're wearing spacesuits, if they're aliens, why do they need a spacesuit unless they, they come from another uh, uh, atmosphere? Mm-hmm. I, I personally believe that Earth is the only planet in this universe. And the reason I believe that is that there are countless universes. Like space is endless. Mm-hmm. And so if space is endless, why, why wouldn't we have our own universe? Okay. So you think that Earth is the only planet in this universe? Yes. But what about Mars? Well, it's a dead planet. Okay. So Earth is the only live planet? Mm. The only Mm. planet with life in this whole universe? Yeah. So you think that there's multiple universes or infinite numbers of universes? Yes. And each universe probably has an Earth. Or two. Or two. But you think this whole universe of hundreds of billions of galaxies, yeah. each with hundreds of billions of solar systems. Could be. There's only one planet. Could be. Because we have the space. So the only you mean by one planet, one planet with life. Yes. But why intelligent would, life. But why wouldn't you think that there's if because it's so big, why wouldn't you think that there could possibly be other life other places? Why couldn't it be the other way? Why couldn't we be the only ones? We could be. That's what I'm saying. We t- totally could be. So, so there's no reason for me. See, see, the, that's why I have peop- trouble with people that are afraid of AI, you know, artificial intelligence. Yeah? I, I think it's so silly. Because, why is that? Well, because they're smart. They're smart enough to know that they're not going to enslave anybody or torture anybody or take over anything. No, only dummies do that stuff. You mm. know? Because when you capture something, you know what you capture? Wow. Their problems, <laughs> whatever their problems Unless are. Unless you extingu- extinguish them. Yeah, for what reason? Well, the people are just destroying the earth. They're polluting the rivers. They're sucking all sure. the fish out of the sea. It's not the, the sky is filled with carbon. T- the, the artificial life is going to be like, you know what? The real problem is these goddamn people. They're dirty little litterers. They're choking squirrels. And- See, that's the paranoid look at it. Look at the positive look at it. What's the positive? Well, first of all, you have to remember, we live in a physical universe. Okay. For every action, there's a reaction. So for every good, there's a bad. And nothing explains Trump more than for every Obama, there's a Trump. <laughs> you mm. know what I'm saying? Okay. So there's no limit to how ignorant you can be, and there's no limit to how smart you can be. 
There's no limit. And so when you go up the scale to intelligence scale, then then you realize that there's no reason for it to be paranoid about anything, because if you it, it's all written out and the, all the holy books have written it out, you know, mm-hmm. especially uh, the the Bible. See, the Bible has been misconstrued by so many people, because what they do, they take it to what's going to suit their purposes, and then but to really interpret the Bible, it's written in code. It's written. It's a secret code. The, the Bible, Bible is. Yeah, it's metaphysical terms. It's not physical terms. They're metaphysical terms. What do you know about the Bible and code? Like, what do you- there's a, a writer called uh, Emmett Fox. Mm-hmm. You should get into him. Yeah. He he deciphers the whole Bible. Does he decipher the ancient Hebrew version of the Bible or the Greek version of the Bible, Latin all, version all of the, the Bible? Ver- all, all the versions. Right, oh. but I mean, it all comes from ancient Hebrew, and yeah. when you translate yeah. things from ancient Hebrew, yeah. there's you know, ancient Hebrew, the letters also double as numbers. Sure. Yeah. And and and, and see see what, what, what the people I read. There's another uh, 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 mystic that I read a, a lot. Mystic. Well, yeah. he's mystic. You know, or you know, he's not. He he. His name is Joel S. Goldsmith. Yeah, I, I I discovered him a long time ago, but I discovered him in jail. It's a very popular book in jail. And Goldsmith, look him up. He's all on the, on the computers and everything else. Mm-hmm. Check him out. Okay. You, you'll really, really enjoy it. It'll give you a new perspective. Because what he, he maintains, it's all written, in, like I say, in the Bible. Eternity. See, there's no beginning and no end. That explains everything to me. Because if there's no beginning to no end, what can, will, can happen will happen. You know, mm-hmm. and because this is again, this is my 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 theory. It's in the physical world, we have to learn everything. That's why everything's physical. Like the first thing when you're born, you have to learn how to breathe. Mm-hmm. You have to learn how to walk. You have to learn how to eat. Mm-hmm. These, these are all skills that you have to literally learn. Right. And, and mothers and everything teach you you that. And then when you reach a certain age. Uh, you, you leave the planet, you know, at least your soul, your spirit. Uh, and the body, the body stays, the body is just a vehicle. And so, because of eternity, this goes on and on and on and on forever. It never stops. Mm-hmm. What we do as humans, we're learning. We're, we're creatures of, we're, we're all students, whether we want to be or not. You know, I, mm-hmm. I was trying to explain this to my one son because my youngest son is a bit, uh, he's a musician, you know, and, and, I, and I try to understand that he's a musician and, uh, you know, musicians aren't that, uh, you know, they're not uh, entrepreneurial as, as some people would like him to be. But anyway, everybody's here to learn a certain task and some of us are blessed and to the point, like me, I'm blessed, I'm very blessed, because uh, I've been given a, a, the ability to, 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 to do what I do and to see what I see and to, to say what I say, you know. It doesn't come from me. It comes mm-hmm. from, you know, the, the source, what I call the source. 